Before this video starts guys, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to slap that subscribe button and slap that like button on this video. Slap it with your nose, slap it with your toes, slap it with your face, slap it with anything you can possibly slap it with. But make sure you click that button right there and let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up? V Queen here back with another video and guys, please don't murder me. I know it's been so long um, for I posted a video. But I've been really busy with um, doing graphic design for people on Twitter. So if you, if you guys, anyways, want any graphic design from me, please message me on Twitter, and you can purchase some awesome graphics for me. But today I'm back with another video that has been really requested. A lot of people have been DMing me on Twitter asking me, "What do you use to design? What do I use if I want to design this? What do I use if I want to design that? What do I use?" So I decided. That I'm gonna make a video for it to sum it all up for you guys. So um, that that's it for today's video, and I hope you guys watch it straight to the end. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and let's get straight into the video. So the first um, application or program that I recommend you guys using is Paint.net. It's a free program. Well, all of well, <laughs> it's a free program. Um, all you have to do is type in the name that I have here, paint.net, free download, and the first download that comes up, you click on it, you click on it, download, it's completely free. This program is, ex the picture that I'm showing you now, I made it with paint.net. This program is for simple designs, you can make some simple logos, some, if you just want to do a simple thumbnail or something, this is the program to use. Or especially if you're making like in real life thumbnails or graphics and say you have your face in a picture and you want to cut out the background or something, paint.net I think is one of the best options to do this, especially for free. And it takes a little bit of skill on your part but I am a self-taught graphics designer and I taught myself how to use it. So it's pretty easy to use and I think it will be pretty easy for you guys as well. So for those simple things and even the more advanced stuff you can use paint on it to do. You can even open up Photoshop files on it if you get the um so if you want like graphics packs and so if you get the Photoshop plugin, you can open Photoshop files on it. So it's a really great app to use and um I really recommend it for you beginner designers. So let's get into the next one. Okay, so the next program I really recommend you guys using is Cinema 4D. As you can see in the picture I have down there the below of the screenshot, this um, program allows you to make 3D or 4D designs. Like for example that um, 3D text that I have down there. It, you can do different colors, you can do different styles, as you can see I have it with the different outlines and such. You can do curves, you can do bends. If you have like a 2D logo in photo, Photoshop, you can export it to an Illustrator file and open it in Cinema 4D and make your logo 3D. So it's a great application to use, a lot of the designers use it and if you guys want to know where you can go get a download for this, all you guys have to do is comment down in the description. If I get two comments saying, um, put the download for Cinema 4D, I will add the download link in the description. So that's it for Cinema 4D. It's really great. You can also use it for animation too as well, but this is a graphic designing video, not a video effects video. So yeah, I'll get to the next one. Okay guys, so the third one now, which most of you guys know and use, is Adobe Photoshop. And to get Adobe Photoshop is actually not free, but I have a free download available of Adobe Photoshop. It's on my channel, all you have to do is go on my channel and look for my video that says download Adobe Photoshop for free, and you watch that video and the links work perfectly well. And let's get into what Adobe Photoshop is for. Adobe Photoshop right now is the best option for graphics designing but let me tell you it's not for beginners if you're a beginner I really recommend you use paint.net which is pretty easy to use it has a lot of effects it has drop shadow it has blurs it has all and you have a lot of plugins that you can get on paint.net and get all your effects and all of that stuff you can do overlays you can do different layer um, options and all of that stuff but for Photoshop 
Photoshop is really the program for if you're doing designs that require a lot of effects. So say you're doing a banner and you want like lightning effects and color corrections and all of that stuff, Adobe Photoshop is your best pick. But as I said, it's not for beginners. You're probably going to have to watch a lot of tutorials if you're going to use Photoshop. Because the reason why I started using Paint.net in the first place when I was just starting designs because Photoshop looked a bit pretty complicated to me. So I said, you know what, let me try it. There must be another program and I found paint.net. But once you get to learn and know Adobe Photoshop, it's a pretty great program to use. And as I said, if you want to export like um, 2D logos into like Cinema 4D and get them 3D, you're going to need Adobe Photoshop to do that. And you can also watch a tutorial online on how to do that. But let's get to the last. So as I said, this is great for making thumbnails, banners, headers, all that stuff. Um, logos and such and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for Adobe Photoshop so let's get to the last program okay guys so the last program on my list is Adobe Illustrator now as you can see this logo which you guys can see in my profile this I made this logo with Adobe Illustrator and <laughs> trust me it took me it took me a couple days well to make it um, actually that time I was using my you can download Adobe Illustrator for PC as I said it's not free you would have to find a download for that yourself or if you guys want me to link a free download for it all I need is two comments saying link a free download for Adobe Illustrator and I will do it for you guys but I made this logo right here with Adobe Illustrator so if you're doing esports logos mascot logos all of that HD stuff Adobe Illustrator is the app. It's the app for any for logos overall. It's the best app for use. I really for you to use. I really recommend it. For what, once you say once anyone come to me ask me what do you use for your logos, I tell them Adobe Illustrator because it's the best app to use. Trust me. The logo turn and this is the first logo I made it. Adobe Illustrator to be honest. It's the first logo. I was actually trying out the app and someone sent me a logo looking similar to this and they asked me to remake it and add the text on it. So I actually drew it all on a piece of paper first and then I took a picture of the paper, I put it on Illustrator and then I I used my, I, you know what I did, I drew up the lines and everything around the sketch that I had on the paper and added the colors and everything and it actually turned out pretty great. So if you guys want to design logos, you have to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator. That's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching once again. Like, please like the video and subscribe if you guys are new. And remember to also comment down below for any suggestions of what I should do for my next video. But guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.